Unified Fire Authority is anticipating a 1,000% increase in fire-related activity tonight with the sheer amount of fireworks that are expected to celebrate Pioneer Day. Well, fire danger is high. ABC4's Brittany Johnson live in the backyard with more on how firefighters are trying to keep up tonight. That's right, Emily. So whenever you light one of these fireworks, the fire danger increases. So you want to be aware of where you are lighting these up. Don't do them in uh, restricted areas and dry areas with dry conditions. But if something does go wrong, Unified Fire says they are ready. They brought in extra firefighters and have extra fire trucks strategically placed throughout the valley. Geared up and ready to go. Unified Fire Authority is anticipating a 1,000% increase in fire-related response just for the Pioneer holiday tonight. Even with all the extra crews, 18 extra firefighters and five extra trucks, Ryan Love, Unified's PIO, says it's hard to keep up. It's really hard to, um, and that's the truth of the matter. It's hard to keep up. Uh, each fire department here locally um, and really statewide has a hard time keeping up with the amount of fires on the 4th of July and the 24th of July. Emergency responders already have their work cut out for them with weather related fires. Now you add people lighting off fireworks in these triple digit temperatures with dry conditions. Love says be safe and be smart. Don't light fireworks in restricted areas and be aware of your surroundings. Understand that, you know, where you are. Are you next to um, oak brush that has been pre preheated and, and pre treated and is it, um, you know, is exposed to that sun? Unified Fire is especially keeping a close eye on the southwest corner of the valley tonight. That's because the, the homes in that area are near wildfire danger and wildfire prone areas. For now, reporting live tonight in Salt Lake City, I'm Brittany Johnson, ABC4 News.